Hello, guys. Today we, it's me, Maya, and we're studying Element and Star Wars. Entertainment. Entertainment and Star Wars. <laughs> and the friends of his. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good Welcome job. Good job. job. <laughs> Welcome to Entertainment and Star Wars. My name is Rob. I'm here. You're there. How you chat with me with me is the, the gang in the back of the family got it all right so anyway i'm with the great man from down under who would say that's a knife that's not a knife there is stevie <laughs> J. what's up stevie <laughs> G'day everybody, uh, so glad to be back with Rob and uh, with Shelby and Les as well, fantastic day, I mean for me it's already Monday so I'm super excited, I'm pumped, I'm ready to go, we're getting a verdict, we're getting a verdict, oh I'm, uh, I got the uh, got the jitters to be honest, got the jitters. <laughs> and with me also, I'm blessed to have the mother of, what a combination of spiritual, <laughs> empowering, <laughs> coaching and Shelby Soup, how are you ladies, what's going on? Oh yeah, you go. You go first. I'm just actually laughing at your emoji. Um, I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. I am on pins and needles. I don't think sleeping is going to be uh, a thing tonight. So I just thank you so much for having us all back together again. It's always so much fun, and yeah, I, I cannot wait. This time tomorrow, we're going to have a completely different story. Well, we got everybody yeah. in the chat, and you can see what they're putting. You can just, Lock her up. You can, you can see what they're up. putting. There we go. <laughs> so we're going to start That's off today. I mean, they all. Uh, she's, uh, Petra says, don't be nervous, Les. Don't, you know what? Listen, it's, it is nerve-wracking, and, and we're going to get into this today. We're going to talk about the verdict. And here's the thing. It's coming. It's on its way. Why is this such a problem? Well, listen, honestly, we all feel very positive that he is going to win. Mm -hmm. Okay, we all feel that. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm sure everybody in the chat feels that and everybody here in the panel. But here's the thing. What if? What if things didn't go right? Mm -hmm. What if things went wrong? What if the judge did something absolutely but none of us are prepared for? It? So it's a little little bit nerve wracking and I'm gonna let the panel discuss that right now. What we're gonna go with the opposite side. We're go, what if Things don't go the way we all think it's going to go. And I'm going to let you guys kick it off. So I'm going to keep quiet. Oh. Well, Les, do you want to go I, first? I can't or? go there. I can't go there. Stevie, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, look, uh, all I can say is um, all I can say is if the verdict doesn't go Johnny's way, um, I'm glad that I'm in a shed right now because when I throw things, there shouldn't be too much damage. Um, I will be very, 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 very upset. Um, but you know, it, it's so there's that part of it. I'm going to throw my toys out of the pram big time. I'm going to be really, really uh, annoyed. But um, you know, I suppose the other side of it is um, we do have Virginia still. We do have yeah. Virginia, and there is a tricky thing to do with newspapers and uh, defamation and actually winning these cases sometimes. Now, I mean. I went through the other day, um, not sure if anybody caught my stream, but anyways, the other day I was talking about the requirements that need to be met for right. um, either Johnny to be found, uh, let's say, uh, not Johnny to be found anything, NGN to be found guilty, let's say. So the requirements that have to be met. And so basically NGN have to prove that uh, it was true, what they said. That's essentially what it comes down to. It says uh, the truth defense. They had, they can say what we said, what we printed was true. So they had to prove that throughout the case. Mm -hmm. And Johnny had to prove that he uh, was impacted, his reputation was impacted, uh, and that he potentially lost work or money. So those were the two things that had to be proven from either side, amongst you know a litany of other things too. But those were the two main things that had to be met. Um, so in my opinion, I think that... Um, I think that, well, we know NGN categorically cannot prove true what they said right. because the evidence just points overwhelmingly to the contrary. So 
Um, I don't think they were able to prove that whatsoever. So really, to me, it actually comes down to whether Johnny was able to prove that he lost reputation or he lost money from what they wrote in those articles, which I'm pretty confident they did because uh, he uh, lost pirates and um, his reputation was completely tarnished out in the mainstream media. So I think yeah. they were absolutely able to prove that. Anyway, sorry, that was probably a bit long, but <laughs> that's, no, uh, that's what I think. Good, you, good. You summed it up perfectly because when Miss Wass said they only needed to prove one incident, so she comes in with her lorry full of excuses and her, her truck full of like incidences, and she said they only needed one. So did they just start collecting things? And she's like, oh, you know, he he was maybe not nice to me on this day. And, you know, maybe she was just picking on days that I don't know what how she picked her incidences. I really don't understand. But I think maybe it was the times that she did something to him so she could get to him first before he could turn around and say that she did it to him. Anyway. But the thing that, that the one incident... And guys, I'm going to let you in the chat tell me what my incident is that I think has actually got a slight chance. And it wasn't even because Johnny did anything. Johnny did nothing, but yet someone admitted to something. Boston plane incident. Stephen Duders, when he said, when when he started to say, yeah, he did kick you, and yeah, he's crying, and yeah, 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 and it was yes. horrible, and well, he, know that. he feels like a horrible yes. human being. As soon as I read that, I was like, well, damn, are we done? Is, is this the thing? But the thing is, it wasn't Johnny that admitted it. It was someone else who was just placating her. But all her lies combined, well, that negate this one thing this one instant this one email or one text message that kind of points to the fact that yeah this could have possibly happened not saying it did just saying that the wording of it is quite suspicious will all her lies negate that one text message like is it enough are all her lies enough for it to still go in Johnny's direction. Because that Boston plane incident, it worries me. It really worries me. Your thoughts, Shelby? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I'm kind of, I'm just like taking it all in, you know? Like I'm just kind of listening to everything because it's, it's a lot to think about. But yeah, I just, just pretty much everything, like I think Stevie and Les basically said everything that, um, every thought that I possibly have. I just, I think that my whole opinion on like, if he's going to win or not, I, I would say that he definitely should. I don't want to say the answer is yes, but if I had to choose, I would say yes, but I've, I've been wrong before and you never know. You really never know with this kind of stuff, you know, but I think we all feel really confident. Um, but yeah. I think we all feel kind of fairly confident, I guess is what I mean. Yeah, well, I, I think mean, Les, like Les's ahead. point was a good one because um, essentially, you know, on the on the flip side of what I was saying, they they have to prove, I guess, if, uh, if the son could prove categorically that one incident was true that she said, um, then maybe, maybe they could right. uh, win based on that. But it's... You know, going through what the, the requirements are, it's it's a bit of a stretch. It's a okay. bit of a stretch, even if there was just that one, because okay, good. Um, because right, overwhelmingly, right. and they didn't quote that specific incident in their article either. They said in general that he was uh, X, Y, and Z. So, yeah. um, and they I, directly they directly said that he shouldn't be getting any work. Right, but in, we, but right. when Miss Wah said we only need to prove one incident true. For, yes. for them to be able to win their defamation case. Yeah. So it is, oh, look, I agree. It's a concern. It's definitely a concern. And at the end of the day, it's just up to the judge. It's, right. it's just up to the one guy to say, you know, uh, I believe this, I believe that, um, and this is the way this case should go. Because at the end of the day, even if that, that one is proven, he could still say um, that he could still side with Johnny, even yeah. if that one case is proven true. Well, and the thing is, I just—I was yeah. just reading the comments as you were talking, and someone said, like, and it, they're absolutely right. Like, 
none of that, none of what she said happened on that plane. I don't think it's physically possible. No, I don't think it is either. But just the fact that they have another human being agreeing with what Amber claimed. But yeah, so that, like, even though it's impossible and you're like, you have to be a Cirque du Soleil member to be able to pull that off and not even on a functioning plane to be able to pull that off. It would have to be, you know, one of those Instagram people's planes that just stay on the runway and you just take your pictures. It would have to be one of them. So yeah. I just, I just get very, I don't know. I don't but know. How it's just this? that one. You know, and, and I think Wendy, Wendy said uh, she was saying less. The plane incident, it's impossible for JD to have kicked Amber as right. proven. He's, right. If you hear the tape, right, he's out of it. He's totally out of it. Drunk out of his mind. You know, someone who's drunk out of his mind, he was just laying. There was a picture. I couldn't find it. But the picture is he just laying there, full cloth. How could someone in that state, in that great state, physically do anything? I mean, her, her whole... Her whole thing in this case is that he was on drugs, he was drunk, and that is what triggered him to hit me, which isn't true, which isn't mm. true at all, because what no. happened is, yeah, he drank or whatever, but he always left in that TMZ video that the minute she tried something, the minute that he got angry, he put his stuff down, and he left. He said, I'm out of here. And she giggled about it. She knows yeah. In mm. that video, anything... It proved it against her. See, she was hoping, in my mind, she was hoping that this would show his anger. How he's mm -hmm. slamming cabinets and he's slamming bottles. Big deal. He didn't touch you. Right. When you look at her face, there's nothing there. Right. And witnesses time and time again, the woman who went on TV, the concierge, everybody who's seen it, like, wow, she's fine. She looks great. You know? For somebody who had this bruise in her face, and everybody here who's been a victim can tell you, bruises kill overnight. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I played sports. I've had bruises. I've had them for a week. They turn different right. colors. I've yeah. had my face raked, like I said in my last stream, by my mm -hmm. ex, who took I didn't go away in a day. I had to explain that to my job, which was really embarrassing. But I had to let, inform them of what had happened to me, for protection wise. You know, yeah. I, but these are things that go away. You can't hide my face at that time. No mask, you know, from COVID. So I can tell you from experience, it doesn't go away. People in the right. chat have told me, you, you have a bruise, it's purple, turns yellow. Yeah. It has to heal. So come on, did he kick her on a plane? No. 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 But it, no. it's so, and, and that's the thing, like, ever, like, and I agree with absolutely everyone. Like, I agree. It is going through that. It's it's impossible. And I'm I, I, I'm probably a little bit more limber than Johnny at this point. And I don't think I'd be able to do that sitting in a plane tucked into my seat, drawing away and then lift my leg. And but it was the wording of Stephen Duders that that was it. I'm not like it was his wording of his text message that has me very, very concerned about that one incident. The rest of the incidences, I don't I don't have I don't have a one doubt in my mind that the judges are just gonna say, well this is just a whole bunch of hooey with that one yeah. text message. It's just that one text message that that bothers me. No same I'm with you on yeah. that. Because I'm not saying he could act like no there's no way that happened on the plane. There's because you the pilot didn't say anything. The stewardess didn't say anything. Are you kidding me? No, someone working on that flight, if this actually happened, would have said, whoa, you can't behave like this on a flight, private or not. You can't behave like this. This is nonsense. Someone would have said something. Right. Right? Yeah. I'm hoping. No, I think I so. I think so for sure. Uh, I right. just want to get this in. John Lee gave me a super stick. I can't seem to find it. Uh, so I just want to say thank you uh, very, very much for the super sticker. There's a couple more. I, I, I just saw them. I'm sorry to cut people off, but I, you know, listen, people are nice and generous and the yeah. chat. I really have to give credit. Credit is due. Uh, oh, thank you, John. And yeah. hi, John. So that was John. Hi, John. He said, and, and I don't know if I, there's someone else. Uh, I'll just, I'll talk to my other phone. Uh, Jewel also gave, she said, great to see an awesome foursome all in, in one place. <laughs> so exciting. Hey, Jewel. And Kathy, Kathy, Kathy gave also a super sticker. 
And I just again want to thank you very much. I mean, you guys really, that's, that's so awesome of you guys. I really, you know, that's really, awesome. really, really appreciate it. And and I will go to the chat, I promise we're going to be in and out. Let's say Johnny wins. Let's forget the plane incident. Let's, oh, the overwhelm, everything we've talked about, everything all those channels have talked about and the other channels who aren't here. Johnny wins. He wins the case. Everybody's happy, which we all think is that's the way it's going. Yeah. How much does he win? And what does this do for his career? And what does this do for Amber Heard? Yeah. Well, well, I think, um, so, sorry, the first question is, if he wins, what does it do for his career yeah. and her career? Well, 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 if he wins, let's talk about money. We'll make it real simple. Okay. How much right. do you think he wins in this case? The whole thing, half of it, 10 mil, 5, 25, 30. What do you think he wins in this case? Let's start with a dollar. Oh, look, <laughs> and I have to say, I, I haven't researched this at all, so it's just a, a guess. Um, but I would say he'll get somewhere around maybe 100K maybe something like that um yeah just from what i've heard that's maybe about what he'll get but um <laughs> what he what he what he'll really get is the sweetest thing of all which is that sweet sweet vindication that's, that's right. what he will get yeah. yeah yes absolutely i think and that's that's what i feel like matters the most you know is is having that like amazing feeling of knowing that you got through this even though we all know the truth but exactly what stevie said what do you think well uh money wise i don't know and because it isn't about money for him it's hard to say even though i do believe he deserves every penny every penny that he's entitled to um i'm gonna go with 500k and most importantly mm -hmm. his name restored and but the the problem is is that no matter what for some people he will always be labeled that no matter what is proven in court no matter what judges say no matter how many jails she goes to he will always be that guy so the damage is done for some people but for others and for his reputation with his children and his family and within his close circle, I it's, they obviously know he didn't do it. But at the same time, I think it'll just feel good to be able to say, no, you know what? You can't just go around and say this stuff about me. You can't. And I dare the next guy to try. Like, this is really showing who he is as I'm a nice guy until, mm -hmm. until this. Yeah. And I don't blame him. So I... I think is it'll just be more importantly about um, getting them to have to do that retraction of we made a horrible, horrible mistake and yeah. they have to apologize globally. I think they should have to apologize for the amount of time that that, that that story has been around for. So for every day that that story has still been up on their website, has still been in circulation, they need to apologize for over and over and over again for the same amount of time. What, three years? I think daily mm -hmm. for the next three years is a good start for them to start apologizing. Not just one and done. Uh uh. Oh, yeah. No. Man, yeah, man, it should be all. Go ahead, Shelby. I'll get to Sorry, somebody. Go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, Yeah, exactly what Les said. Like, really, that would just be like, that's something that needs to be done is just being like, I'm sorry, we did this, we screwed up. Like that just is one of the most important things here is just being able to have that, um, that uh, just, I don't know, I can't even describe it. What am I trying to say? I'm blanking here, but just long story short, they should be apologizing for the next, honestly, even the next like decade, they should be, you know, for all that, that that's happened. So let me get into a lot of super chats will drop. I really thank you all. It's for some reason, and I, and I remember that uh, Les was having this. It does all show up on my screen. I don't, I don't understand what's wrong with this thing. But I did catch Mary Scott, and she said, "If no money was awarded, I hope that they have to publicly apologize to him in all papers front page, just like Les was saying, just, just exactly what you were saying, Les. Yeah, you know, and and I just oh, sweet chastity, I want to thank you for doing this." 
Maureen Hessa Gabe, Ali Shaw, Kathy, 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 and Mary Scott. And I, again, I thank you all. I'm trying to catch them, but for some, hey Maya, but for some reason, um, I don't know what's wrong with this thing. <laughs> it's like I don't know looking. either. It's so frustrating. It's it so is. frustrating. It is because yeah. I, I, I see it on my other phone. That's why I have my other phone handy, like here, you know, because you can see us right here. Chat. Yep. So I have my other phone open, trying to catch them. So if I can't catch it here. I will certainly try to catch it on my phone. Uh, so I'm going to go to my next question. And I'll try to keep up with the chat here. Next question is, okay, he wins, you know, great. What happens now to the career of Johnny Depp? What happens to the career of Amber Heard? So Johnny Depp basically, oh, sorry, Shelby. Sorry. No, 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 you go, go ahead. You go ahead. Ladies first. <laughs> uh, and no worries, oh. age before beauty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm leaving. I, I was just, <laughs> I was just gonna say, <laughs> don't worry, guys, we're all friends. Uh, I was gonna say, um, Johnny Depp's career. Now, and when you say something like this, it sounds so odd, doesn't it? It sounds so odd for this to be said, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Okay. Johnny Depp's career is gonna take off. <laughs> <laughs> for someone of the superstardom uh, level of Johnny Depp to say that it sounds so strange, but it's obviously been yeah. impacted by by all this trash. But he will just keep going and going and going. He's going to get movie offers coming left, right, and center, and uh, everyone's going to love him again. And it's a bit, you know, disingenuous and disingenuous of those uh, studios who dropped him. But hey, mm. um, he's going to get a lot of love, I think, in the movie industry. He already has, has he not? Like, did we not just see a tweet this morning that uh, four new productions or something have picked him up, even like before the trial has ended? We, I think we all know. Maybe yeah. they know the verdict. They know the verdict. They know the verdict, him. right? <laughs> everyone knows. I think everyone. I think I think yeah. they know. I I am can I I I won't put money on it, but I'll put some eggs in that basket that the the people within the trial know. Right. So because Amber pulled, Amber pulled her, her podium moment, which is weird. Oh, damn. Her and these podiums. Yeah. Don't even get me started on that. <laughs> her, she needs to, someone needs to get her a podium as like an insult gift and be like, here, you can do it at home. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so basically, <laughs> can you guys see it? <laughs> So basically, I think the same, like, I feel like we probably won't know for sure, you know, until, like, Virginia, what exactly what could, could happen with Amber. I hope you guys are enjoying the Avatar. Oh, Jesus, Shelby. That's, that is gold. That is gold. What a, what a handsome man. <laughs> so I can who is that stutter? Who, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> man <laughs> that's right lock me up lock me up and throw away lock the key. him up lock him up <laughs> crikey that's funny oh my uh, god crikey thank you for throwing in a crikey as well that's crikey, awesome. mate. Crikey. <laughs> oh crikey. i grew up with that i grew up with crikey so that tool <laughs> 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 the other one you can say is uh the other one you can say is struth it's just like saying what is truth video. Oh, it's truth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got that one too. I got I got Sorry, it Rob. Sorry, Rob. I've taken over two of your screens now, mate. I, I really feel bad about it. <laughs> Don't worry, man. Don't worry. It's all you. I got plenty of time to talk. I got plenty of videos to make. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying lock me up. Oh, yeah, come man. on, then. Go on. Lock me up, then. Go on. <laughs> Oh, oh, I love it. Man, that was quick work too, Shelby. It was, like was quick work too. Quick work. Yeah. She came in so You're stealthily with right. it. What was that? <laughs> you came in so stealthily with it. You're just like, here, figure it out. <laughs> Well, oh. Rob, I I don't want to I don't like doing this normally, my friend. But um, seeing as I'm about to be locked up, is there is it possible for me to just make a little announcement? Is that okay? <laughs> yes, by all means, go ahead. <laughs> um, so, uh, everybody who is watching right now, I assume you all want to see the verdict. Um, so, <laughs> uh, I've had a video link up for about uh, a week <laughs> for the verdict stream for tonight. For tonight for me. 
uh, tomorrow for a lot of people. I've had to change that video link, okay? So I've changed it. I have put a, uh, a notification in the chat because there was 20 people in the chat already chatting about that. So I've put a notification in the chat there with the new link. I've put a new link on the old video where that was up. I've tweeted it out. So if you are um, coming to the stream tonight with Les and Shelby and I, then please go to the new link because it's fixed, it's working, it's all good, and it's good to go. But please go to that one. Sorry, Rob. Sorry about that. And don't well, go to the one on my community tab because that one needs to be changed as well. I'll, I'll, I'll also put up on my community tab that there's a new link and we'll make sure that everyone goes to the right one. Yeah. Cool. You're streaming tomorrow, right? Sorry, ma'am. You're streaming tomorrow, the verdict? Uh, you're going to be live streaming? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you, if be, you want to put the link. live uh, at the time. All right. So if you want to put the link, you feel free to put it in the chat so everybody can catch that, you know, so oh, they can yeah. come to your stream. Uh, by the way, I just want to say thank you to Fat Steven Seagal, beat up Ryan Thompson. <laughs> yeah, another guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's great. He always puts us something crazy. Oh, shall we? He says, I tried to beat up Amber Heard, but she crapped in my fridge. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay. Mm. Well, like, whatever word, I, I don't know what to say about that. So, okay, so we all feel I would just safe to say we all feel that johnny wins his reputation and everything is going to be safe how will that affect the case in virginia i think it's a slam well, dunk if he wins this one because it's the same case but do you feel if if this is this is because this is about the son what about her what about if if, if he what happens if he wins very minimal is that a victory for amber heard no. I'm with um, you. Just what I'm think? trying to think. How? Is, okay, he wins. We all know he wins the whole kit and caboodle. It's looking really great for him, and I, I, that's how I feel it's going to go. But if if you know, if it's positive, you have nothing to worry about. If, but you always have to think on the other side too. So let's say he wins, but doesn't win as much. Even though it's against the newspaper, does this really affect that bird in any way? Because, you know, it, it, it's not her that's on the stand right now. It's the But stuff. it was her incidences that they were relying on to back up their story. Right. So if the right. son says, so if Judge, if uh, Justice Nickel turns around and says, listen, lady, like you're full of hokey pokey and I cannot believe you did this to this guy. It doesn't even matter if they give him a dollar. As long as he wins and as long as Judge Nichols says, I I honestly do not believe that the son has any room to stand on. It's the it's the exact same case. She's going to go into uh, VA with the same incidences. And this is why I'm so hell bent on getting the incidents and the ins inconsistencies lined up because she can't change it once again. We want to get to her final story because she can't change it. Because if she changes it in VA, then we know she lied. She's lying. She can't change. So I really do think that it is just a matter of as long as he wins, I don't think the money amount matters. And I just think that it's a slam dunk for him in VA. Right. Oh, I think the, I was thinking like that same, like, you know, thought. Shelby, you're too funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sorry, I was distracted. No, yeah, I completely agree with Les. Yeah, it's like I think that this will dictate, you know, sort of the whole Virginia thing. So <laughs> I hope you're liking my graphic design stuff going on up in here, guys. Let me know what you think. <laughs> I, I like the first one because, I, I, sorry, I like the second one because, you know, I do talk a bit of crap. So it, it made sense. <laughs> and I, how dare you put me in the same in the same room as this person? How well, dare you put me in the same room? Now you know <laughs> how we really feel about well, you. What's the one you get? <laughs> yeah, I'm locked up. <laughs> I'm locked up as well. Damn it. And I just yeah, want to thank. Yeah, go ahead. I just want to thank uh, for the super stick. I have to grab them when they come up because for some reason I it, so many comments come and it disappears and I cannot find it anymore. So I apologize if I missed anybody's. I really truly apologize. I want to thank Chesty for helping me out. And I just want to thank you all for the support and the love. And you guys are great. And this panel is really terrific. And if you haven't subscribed to anybody in this panel, 
I don't know what you're thinking because they are fantastic people. And the verdict comes out tomorrow. It's Stevie J Raw live, so we can watch that. So I just want to let you all know. There's a cheap plug for everybody. So there you go. Uh, just so like, well, cheap and plug is just like right up Stevie's alley. <laughs> Please, <laughs> Stevie. I don't know what's going on, man. You come to my street and he's picking on you. <laughs> I'm, I'm under attack. You know, it's all happening today. I've been put down lower on the screen today. You know. Um, I've just put right down to the bottom. Now I'm getting locked up. I've got turds in my mouth. Uh, what's going on? I'm, I'm just in. <laughs> you guys. Now I have to ask. I have a question for all of you. Now this is this might feel like it's being an uh, kind of an obvious question, but do you feel that Amber's career is going to be over um, if Johnny gets it for both of them? Like, I just don't, me personally, I don't know because we kind of saw the mainstream media and all this kind of stuff just uh, sort of allowing it, um, if that makes sense. Not necessarily that they can control her career, but it kind of worries me um, just because it seems like people these days just do whatever they want, regardless of the proof that's right in front of them, you know? So tell me what you guys think. Mm. I'll let you go first. Yeah, Stevie, you go first. Oh, by the way, Look. about Florida Thrifter says, I would pay God's money to see Stevie in the same room with Amber Heard. Oh, me I too. Care for what you wish for. Me too. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, well... Yeah. That, that's interesting because if she comes to Australia and I actually got to meet her at the airport, the things that I say to her might put me in jail. So <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a possibility. It's a possibility. Well, then that's why we were going to start a GoFundMe for your bail money that you're going to need. <laughs> we're just going to let it ride. We're going to build it up and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Oh. So, so Stevie, thank families, you. Thank and family so always has bail money ready. We, we <laughs> love you, Stevie. Bail money. We, got you. we got you. We got you back, oh, Thank Stevie. you. Thank you. Don't I'm feeling worry, the uh, I'm feeling the mixture of hate and love today, so thank you. <laughs> they they uh, got you. I don't know if I got you, but they got you. I'll there it, it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There it is. Just when I just when I added Shelby to the verdict stream tonight, she goes and locks me up with Amber Heard. <laughs> well, you get... You know what? She's she's got nothing. Everybody needs to know the truth. <laughs> she's got nothing. Shelby. <laughs> Shelby. I don't, like, have, I don't written... have anything to say. No. Nope. Somebody's written justice for Stevie in the. Uh, in the uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what, guys? You're supposed to listen to me because I'm a woman. <laughs> oh. Oh, now I feel insulted because you've just assumed my gender. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't know I'm a man. I don't know. I'm yeah. out. Okay. Look, I, I'm so sorry, Rob. We've we've completely hijacked this. Shelby, okay. please. What was your question again? What was your what was your comment again? Well, wait. Can I get to again? two super chats before I lose? Oh, please go, Rob. Sorry. Right, sorry. Yeah. Sure. Oh, K says I do think that she will make new claims. This is interesting. I will make new claims. She will make new claims if. Virginia, if she loses with the son. Hmm. Oh. I didn't, I didn't think hmm. about that. And that is a big possibility. I, she I keeps trying. You know, I, I didn't think about that. It's definitely a possibility. Definitely a possibility <laughs> because she likes to make up st new stuff all the time. Exactly. Well, Did you see? Well, she's practicing <laughs> witchcraft now, so she might be having to to do whatever she can to um, uh, try her luck. Did you guys see that on Twitter? No, oh I, didn't, no I didn't catch that. No, I didn't catch that. She's like carrying around spell books with a friend of hers or something. So I guess she's really preparing to lose this and do whatever she can to get. Oh away. my God. That's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. She's such a, uh, yeah. And, and <laughs> she's, she's giving, <laughs> she's giving person. the, uh, the, the witches out there, like, kind of a bad, not kind of, they're, she's giving them a bad name. <laughs> right. I know many, many a good person who practice. She's, yeah, she's not doing them. Yeah, anymore. yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. There you go. Justice for Stevie. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Lara says, uh, I'll, she'll be setting the alarm for 430. I think, listen, I think the majority of people here are going to be setting their alarm tomorrow because we've been waiting so long to see this. 
And it's, a, it's in a way, it's exciting, right? In a way, we're all pumped up. We're excited because we expect the best. We expect our hopes are high. That's the only thing I hate. I hate my hopes get high, like a new movie comes out, a show comes out, whatever. And I'm really pumped up. And all of a sudden, it disappoints me. So sometimes I don't like getting my hopes here. So I just like to go in with it with no expectation and say, okay, let's see what happens. And I hear or if I see exactly what I'm getting, man, I'm on fire. So I don't want to be on fire yet. I want to keep that in because when it happens, I'll probably wake up in the household. And I was gonna, so it's going to be because <laughs> I'm really – listen, honestly, I'm really hoping after all this guy has been through – that this changes everything. That yep. the BS is thrown out the window. That this changes yeah. the whole course of action. Right. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. Warner Brothers is still going through with having her in the set. I've heard that from multiple mm. people. Ugh. Um. But if this verdict comes out, do you think that Warner Brothers just might change their mind on having her film twenty? Yeah. I think they're waiting on the verdict because even within the court documents, they, they were never, they never firmed her within like the, the, they said, we need Johnny for fantastic piece these dates. As for Amber, that movie doesn't start until like, we don't start recording until much later. So they didn't even want to take ownership of her even being in it on in court documents because that's a legal document. So they didn't even want to admit to that. I think they're waiting for tomorrow, and after tomorrow, that is like going to be judgment day for her. Yeah, with with a yeah. lot of things, and and I agree with whoever said she she's got a career. I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. I agree with that. Because yeah. Me Too is going to kick her out, and L'Oreal. Oh, yeah. I th- I think L'Oreal is just waiting. I think they're just hanging yeah. on until tomorrow, and then to like I think everyone's got their termination papers ready to go. I, th- I think everyone has got their termination papers ready and signed just to be able to send when that verdict comes in. Because how can you possibly have someone like that um, speak A, yeah. L'Oreal, you know, that's very, that's a hundred percent, you know, no, I, I don't want to say that. No, 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 no. I don't want to say that. Um, mostly directed at women, but there are men too so yeah. right I, that's Sorry. why that's why i, I wanted to mm-hmm. to tap no i re- really wanted to be careful of my wording there i want to make sure everyone's included but um <laughs> shelby. <laughs> i'm sorry oh shelby you're killing me here you're killing me here oh. <laughs> i'm trying to keep my mind through the most it's time. actually really good that's a really good job too <laughs> that's fantastic I did that in like five seconds. I don't. I. I'm. The, I feel like it doesn't work that good. But thank you for that. Oh man, that's so funny. Oh, sweet chastity said that uh, Debbie Hope was also uh, gave a super chat. <laughs> I'm sorry if I missed it. Megan Marlin and Vicka, uh, guys, thank you again, all of you. I, I, I'm so sorry that they're not coming through, but I thank sweet chat for keeping me up to date. Just- thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, this was a wow. good point. Someone said. A depth head. He said, I feel like she's going to try and say Johnny paid off the jury or judge. I think that is going to be the judge. And because judge went on vacation. So I'm waiting for the headline. Johnny sent judge to his Bahamas Island after the trial for payoff. Like I'm, I'm expecting something like that. Like it's going to tie into his vacation, maybe in Johnny's, if I don't know if he still has got his house in France. So it's going to be tied into Johnny somehow because it was yeah. Johnny's trial and it was Johnny's plane and it was <laughs> that's it. like, you got to keep, like, she's got to keep it consistent. So it's got to be Johnny's fault somehow. So that, yeah, I, I'm already anticipating that. I was actually going to even have a thumbnail ready to go for tomorrow morning that Johnny, Johnny wins by default because he paid off Judge Nickel. Like I was actually going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> just well, to get it, just to get ahead of her. But that's, and that's so what's what I find ridiculous too, is that out of, and, and it's the same all the way through this case, all the way through all of this saga is basically everything that Amber accuses Johnny of is something that she's done. So oh, yeah. we, we know she's the greaser. She's the one who tries to, to grease those wheels. And we saw it in the emails. We saw yeah. it in the email. It, she yeah. wrote it. She said, is there someone we can grease? <laughs> yeah. It yeah. doesn't get any more obvious than that. Yet she'll come out and she'll say, nope. oh, no, Johnny was Johnny was greasing everybody. He was just, uh, you know, he was just well, greasing she every said, single person. 
that was John. Those were Johnny's words, not mine. I'm like, um, they, the, yeah. you wrote them. You, you wrote <laughs> yeah. that oh my God. in your yeah. email. How are they Johnny? Like, th no, no, those are your words. Right. I can't, if I write something ski, okay. So say I write a scathing tweet and I say, there's Stevie's words. Are you going to believe me? Yeah. Right. I wouldn't I believe hope, you because you're not trustworthy at all. So well, I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> I don't trust I her at all. I, I need to get off this damn stream because I, I'm feeling like there's just this feeling here, this vibe, you know? <laughs> well, the truth comes out. I'm a horrible human being. Oh. <laughs> Linda Linda dropped, dropped the... She said, um, Linda, uh, she the super chat again. I'm only finding my phone and sweet chastity is telling me. She said, I felt like I needed to explain like this to avoid confusion. Loving these live streams with all of you. Well, thanks. We're loving you all here and we're all supporting. Oh, and no. man, my, my heart is pounding because I could feel how nervous, like as the hours go by. And I'm going to be honest, I'm getting nervous and I'm like, man. I've got to get up my morning. I've got to get up. I'm going to see this. I'm going to watch this TV. I'm going to watch this channel. We're going to, you know, I'm going to be supportive. And and the minute it happens, man, I'm going to come out with a video. And I want to, I want to enjoy this. I really want to enjoy them. I'm going to work tomorrow, feeling a great feeling, mm -hmm. knowing that that this guy finally got what he deserves, and he deserves respect. He deserves. He deserves mainstream media to stop the BS already. To TMZ to come out and say, "Hey, we we goofed up," even though I did catch TMZ when they yep. if you caught one of my videos, you did catch they did put out Amber there. They did wait a second when Amber would beat up her girlfriend. They did put her out there, and they found the police officer. I don't know if you guys know this. They found the police officer because her and her girlfriend claimed that it was homophobic, right. misogynistic. They went and they went even further. They found the official officer. She is a lesbian, and she yeah. yeah. and yep. she said, "Listen, I don't know what they're talking about because <laughs> look at who I am. This is my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. This is I love this woman. Yes. Yeah. So the claim they made again showed that Amber hurt her, hit her, and either this woman was afraid of her, or because Amber's a celebrity and she loved her again, someone else who protected Amber." Yep. And by she the way, Kathy, 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 I'm sorry. Thank you so much again for the super sticker. I'm, I'm really trying to catch up to all this. Thank you so much. But the question is, why does her girlfriend, well, I mean, why did Johnny, why did her girlfriend, and why did her sister protect her? Why are they lying on the oath? Why is this happening? And now they get caught. People are coming out. Well, What's going on yeah. here, people? Well, mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. So to to start, I wanted to address how you were talking about the situation in the airport. So I think that, um, well, like you said, the officer, um, uh, um, sorry, it like lagged for a second. The officer is a lesbian, and the, it was so weird that that like that to see that. Like I was like, oh my gosh, like that she like screwed her over. You know, weird meaning like that's like I was surprised at that was like th that came out i was like oh my gosh i'm so glad that this person was able to put amber's crap like to rest and basically say look you're wrong i rest at you because you actually struck this person because they literally saw it happen like like I, maybe that sounds kind of like obvious but sometimes you can report things because somebody else saw it like a random person nearby but these people literally saw it happen um and I think that her girlfriend at the time probably didn't do anything about it because maybe it was too much um, work, maybe. And also, like, she felt like it would be too much of a hassle to have to go through it. And also, I believe that Amber could have manipulated her, you know, and kind of just said, I'll mess with your life, I'll destroy you, yep, all that kind of crap. Like, like I definitely think it's a big manipulation thing there. I definitely think that that's what was going on. Yes. I have nothing to add to that. Yes, all of it. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, my mic seems to be cutting out. I'm a, if, if I don't want to lose the stream. We got 177 people. I got a good chat. I'm afraid that if I touch my wife or anything, I'm 
lose the entire stream and don't want to do that right now. So if I sound in and out, I apologize. I'll uh, try to type in if anybody no doesn't problem. understand anything I'm saying. But can you guys hear me now? Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. gotcha. Yeah. Yep. It might be it might be my headset. I'm not too sure. Or it might be the Wi-Fi connection. I'm not exactly sure what's going it on here. It sounds but. like it could be your headset. <clears throat> like the, the yeah. wires mm -hmm. are, are getting a little crunchy maybe. Yeah. What? I am. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, so you had a uh, you had a super chat, mate, from Miss Anthropy, uh, oh, five forty nine. I missed it. If you're not able it. to bring it up, I, I can read it for you if you like. Yeah, sure. If you could, I appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> uh, and it hey, no, no, no bias here at all. Misanthropy for five forty nine euros says, "Stop bullying my boss and my favorite guy, Stevie J. Raw. <laughs> Great <laughs> stream, guys. <laughs> Love to all. I feel we are all on our tiptoes. TikTok, time's up." Oh yeah. We love you, Misanthropy. <laughs> so much, so much we love. love so much love. We're gonna have to kindly not stop it we're, we're gonna beat up on your boss and yeah because guess what he ain't my boss Ooh, that's right, <laughs> Damn right. Words. Yeah. <laughs> no thank you so much misanthropy yeah and the tiptoes yeah <clears throat> i i these two have act well actually no it's actually been my daughter she's been going on about me being up at like 1 30 in the morning and tweeting because that's rare for me like i'm usually like out i i, I tap out at like 10 o'clock and you won't see me again until like five o'clock the next morning and i've been up because i can't sleep i got so many things going through my head like yeah. and i i'm Ooh. guys i want to know your like were are you surprised at your emotional attachment to this because i'm surprised at my the the level of emotional attachment i have to this like yeah. it's almost like my case that I'm yeah. that it's like it, it affects me in any way, and I just is really weird. It's a it's mm. a really weird feeling for me. Like, of course, I want him to win. Of of course, like you don't spend this much time defending someone and rummaging through everything that everyone ever has right. ever said about him to not get emotionally attached. But to this level, is weird for me. Well, you yeah. know, it's weird. Listen, like you said earlier offline, you said you know, this is what you do. You know? yes. So, and I work in a courthouse, and Shelby mm -hmm. and, and, and Stevie, I'm sure, got emotionally attached because here's somebody, here's somebody we know, mostly accused of something, who's being put out there, and you see other people covering it, and at first you're like, oh, whatever, it's just more celebrity nonsense. But as you got yeah. into yeah. it, as you read it, as, as peers, you know, we're sitting there like, you know what, man? This is really messed up here. And mm -hmm. and then you go to the media thinking they're going to do the right thing. They don't do the right thing. They put right. up the wrong. They throw this guy on the bus. He gets fired. There's crap in his bed. He gets hit. He yeah. beat up, punched, pats him. I mean, it's funny. Yes, it is funny. But when you think about the overall gist of all he's gone through, the millions he's lost, he's lost his job not getting fired for something you did not do, you're wrongfully accused of. That, to me, is the most painful and hurtful thing, especially when you made this come alive. When you made a character your own, because right. when you're acting, right? And I've seen him, I've seen his interviews. When he acts, when anybody acts, they're lost. That, like when I, do, when I did my silly thing yesterday or I do my other thing for Star Wars, that moment, I am lost in the character that I am portraying because I'm trying to, to, to get it right. I'm trying do the voice i'm trying to do like if i was like last night video i did was based on if i was alive as if i was a talk show host i was trying to be like a talk show i didn't have the setup but i'm trying to make it seem like okay i'm a talk show this is my interview you get in you you lose who you are you know and yeah and that's who he was he brought mm -hmm. who's captain jack Sparrow? okay who you ask ask anybody no one else will fit right. that role no. No, I can't. I can't think of one person, no, not right. a one that would be no. able to pull it off the way he did. But it's, it's, yeah. Well, you know, when you said this is what I do, when I when I read through a lot of what she says, I am reminded of stories that I've heard from clients, people that have come to me and said that this is what's going on in my life, and I'm listening to her say this, but I'm also hearing someone else say it but it actually happened to this other person. So I'm, I'm 
it's, I, I, I see it in a level of this way. I am angry. I like, it's, it's an anger for me, me personally first, like a 2% anger because I still haven't dealt with completely what has happened to me in the past. So this triggers me. So I want him to win because for me, that means like, it, it is a little bit of a win for, for all of us, for all of us who couldn't take our person to court in such a manner. It is a win. Mm -hmm. So there, there's that little bit of a selfish part behind it. And then there's, Absolutely. And Absolutely. Then there's everybody else that I've ever encountered in my life that I care for so much that have come to me and shared their story and, and just done whatever you just has spent that time with them and, and shared that space with them. So there's that anger for all of those people. And then there's the anger for depth. So there's so many different levels of anger that I have towards this one person. It is, it is so complex that like, it's not just about him. It's not for a lot of us. It's not about just no. him. It, it's no, about it, and the, everybody. And I so agree with everything that you guys have said so far and, and back it up a hundred percent. So like, I'm not a, I, I'm not a victim, thankfully. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, but what I've seen throughout this, I feel like I've grown with it, if that makes sense. Like I yeah. started from the beginning and I was like, same as everybody, uh, not everybody, but a lot of people, I was like, oh, it's this Hollywood tabloid thing that doesn't, you know, it's kind of a superficial thing. And then once I started getting into it, um, I started to get a little bit more invested, a little bit more invested. And then now to the point where, you know, I, I see and I empathize so much with, uh, with victims who are having all of their emotions dredged up again throughout mm -hmm. all of this and, mm -hmm. and seeing Amber lie about what she's lying about and, right. and adopting other people's stories and things yeah. like that. So, um, and so when it got to a point for me, when I got the tweet last week from Nick Wallace saying that the verdict was announced, I, I nearly jumped, I nearly jumped out of my skin and I was like, same as you, Les, I was like, am I really that invested? Like I didn't realize I was that invested in this case, but I was like, right. I, immediately I had adrenaline and my I was mm -hmm. buzzing and I'm like my fat fingers couldn't type on Twitter fast enough to reply and say thanks Nick and then start talking about it you know and then I I was actually out of the time and I quickly rushed home to start streaming because I was so like I don't know I was just I was pumped I was excited about it so yeah I I didn't realize either but I'm a hundred percent invested in it yeah for sure well yeah, and I never, like Stevie, I never thought that I would be invested into it the way I am because I had, like, the same exact thoughts. Like, why do I care so much? And I realized it, it just, the whole general idea that it's just, this is such a horrible thing. And we've never really experienced anything like this. Like, we've never seen it in, in the media like this. And you'll hear a lot of people say the same exact thing, that they're like, I've... I normally don't care about this kind of thing and and I don't usually care about this kind of stuff but it's so absurd and and ridiculous so it's like I had to just be like do something you know and I never thought that I really would be um involved in it at all I, like I again I'm surprised that I'm so invested in it like all of you said and I also wanted to say so spiritually empowered coaching mentioned how she's been staying uh, usually goes to sleep early. Well, once you hit like 65, it's normal. So it's, I know, I you know, know it's, she needs to come to the realization that it's okay. Once you're over 60, like you're going to just have to get over it. I, I know, but at what point like my, my poor body can't keep this up for much longer. I haven't had my, my natural, you know, 12 hours of sleep because I, I am aware at this age, I do, I do need to keep up with that. I don't know. It's affecting my memory. It's affecting my brain function. Brain. But that could be old age too. Yeah. That's all right. As long, yeah, as, we, as, long as, you keep, as long as you're able to remember our names each time we catch up on the stream. That's, that's the main thing. <laughs> Your real name or the, or the nickname that I have for you that I can't repeat here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get to this. Uh, yeah, that was sorry, uh, Linda, because Linda Potter Scott gave me two super stickers. I got one on my my phone, and I got one here. So I just want to say thank you. I caught I see it right there on my phone. I got a so I say don't don't think I didn't see it. I just want to thank Linda for both. Thank you, Linda. That was, yeah, that Linda, thank that was you. very nice. If I missed thank anyone, you. I'm truly sorry. You could put your 
comment there to get my attention. And Lily is asking, what is the wrenches for? So let me explain what the wrenches are. The wrenches are mods. And if anybody caught Stevie J's stream, they would have saw a bunch of robots or trolls or whatever it was come to his stream and flood his stream with negativity. And if they, oh, don't, have, and if they don't have a mod, if they not have a wrench, the people would can kick you out of a stream. Now, sometimes some of these people just had a bad day. They're not doing it for the right reason. So I don't want anybody who comes to this stream, who's been a part of this channel, to get kicked out for any stupid reason. So I have tried to mod every single person I possibly can with my phone. And I've been modding, 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 modding. Because I know there's nobody here who's an idiot. I don't have a troll. But if a troll comes, <laughs> if you see someone cursing or swearing or putting down anybody or any racism or anything negatively, feel free to boot them out. If they're not a mod, they've probably never been here. Or I've never seen them before. Or they never commented. So it happens. And when it happens on my other streams, I'm telling you, my mods pounce. They don't know that person. Mm -hmm. The minute they see something, they pounce. So fast, I don't even see it come on the screen. That's how good they are. So you have the authority, if it's not someone I know, and it's not a name you recognize, and they start cursing anybody in this chat, anybody in this panel, they start saying something really derogatory, you have my authority, boot them. Kick them out. Just time them out. That's why I'm making as many people I can arrange, because I know you're all right. you're part of this community, and I don't want to see anybody do that to you by accident. So it has happened. I've had my wife it was kicked crazy. out of my stream, by the way. My wife has been kicked out of my stream because by accident, I hit the wrong button. It's like, oh, my God, Rob. I'm so sorry. I can't believe what I just did. It was hysterical funny, but, you know, we fixed it. And so it happens. It, it happens, does. You know? It does. Especially in, Steve, in Stevie's um, stream, it was going so fast. The, oh, they, yeah. were, they were nonstop. I don't know how. Actually, Shelby, Shelby seems to think they, she figured out how they did it. Yeah, but uh, it was just moving so fast that I just had this sinking feeling that I kicked someone out that I shouldn't have because they were Same. right underneath. They were right underneath the person who was misbehaving, and because it moved, and I just wanted to get rid of them quickly. I was like, "Oh no, I think I, I think I made a horrible mistake." But I don't know if we've heard any kicking and screaming from that. But I apologize if I kicked out anyone. I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> it was madness. It was madness well, on that stream. I, I, I know that you really just wanted to kick me out, Liz. You just wanted to kick me out <laughs> my own stream. I, I know that. But. <laughs> it's bloody impossible to kick you off. I've tried. I've, 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 I've tried everything. I've called Muskie <laughs> to send in his <laughs> He's not oh, listening. No, not Muskie. He, he said we're not friends. I don't know what I did. What Let's did not I say? Let's not jinx well, it, maybe me. Let's not jinx it here. <laughs> well, if you look at Shelby's Man. avatar, then maybe Muskie's looking after me. If you look at Shelby's avatar. <laughs> well, so. Robinson, I just wanted to thank you. He said just a little bit to help. Kudos to what you do, Kahoot? my friends. Kahoot. Gary. Yeah, Aww. thanks. Gary, that's Today, nice Gary. You. I just caught Hi, that. Uh, Jane, I, Hi, can't, I can't. It's funny. I find comments on my phone and then I find comments here. It's like, what is it, skipping? I have no idea. Jane said, what has happened in the past two days? This is Jane. She's asking. She needed a break. And now I'm reading that Adam is on. Uh, figures something had to happen. Do you guys want to talk about uh, Adam? What happened to the Johnny Depp's attorney? Keep Jane up to uh, par. Oh, yeah. Well, he's he's out in the UK, but I'm not, I'm not really too worried about it. Are, are you guys? How do you feel about it? I don't think it's an issue. Yeah, I was, no, I was, no. I was hoping he would open up. I, I think we all were hoping he would really like let out a lot of information publicly. Mm. I mean, mm. but I, if but I here, think, sorry, I did. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, I think he. Um, if it was me, sorry. Uh, if he, if the verdict goes the way we all think it will and the way we want it to go, I think we might see some uh, some more from Adam Waldman after that. Because I think he's going to want to get that message out there even more through him and through, uh, you know, Johnny's going to want to get a message out too. And I don't know if he's going to say anything. He might say something. But if Johnny says something, I think it's going to be very, very small. It's not going to be a big thing because of the Virginia trial. So it might be thanks for supporting me, mm -hmm. everybody, something like that. And then he'll be done because he doesn't want to say anything at all um, to jeopardize Virginia. And Adam Waldman's the same, but he's got a little bit more scope. He's got a little bit more um freedom to do that 
No, what I was thinking when, uh, because the judge didn't give him a gag order and the only, he's not off the legal team. He's just, he just can't, he just can't uh, practice within the VA courthouse. So no big deal. Cause so he can still do his magic behind the scenes. And Ben Chu is a strong, strong lawyer. So I have no doubt there that Ben Chu will just knock it out of the park. But when it comes to Waldman not having a gag order and still not saying anything, I think that was the best tactic ever because if he got that if he's like okay i'm no longer able to practice and i have no gag order if i take if i go full on and on you know with leaking like not leaking but like letting his opinions out there i think that might actually go against him in a way of what people would be saying well did you did you actually do what they said you did or is it just that the judge was sick of you or not sick of you but sick of amber complaining about you and this was like the only way that we could stop that craziness but i think tactically i think it was smart for him just to stay quiet because now he's definitely not doing what he was accused of with no gag order he is free to do it and he's still not doing it so i think that was fantastic i think it looks i think it looks horrible on on ambi pants and i love it i love it sean, I agree. sean b says uh, that, uh you guys can answer this i'm not too sure of this uh adam can now say more on twitter if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure uh stevie you no know, or, or shelby or anybody I don't know. Yeah, now, he can. Um, he can. Yeah, he he never. I mean, he can't just go out and just start saying all kinds of nonsense. But like, I mean, he can. He has more free roaming uh, room. I, I think Stevie was starting to say that. Sorry if I cut you off there, Stevie. Oh, okay. That's okay. Well, it was, I think what's important is that he didn't get any kind of um, sanctions by the judge, did he? He didn't get any fines, anything like that. So he didn't actually uh, necessarily break the the law in what he did. Um, it was more that the judge was just annoyed at him. It was the judge was annoyed at him because he didn't want it tried in the media. And so when he went out and did those tweets, it was like, oh, come on, Adam, come on. You know, I told you not to do that um, because he wasn't actually leaking anything or putting anything out there that was sensitive, really. So I think uh, now Adam Waldman has actually got more scope to do that. But I think what he's doing at the moment or why he's, or this is just my theory, I think why he's a bit quiet on Twitter at the moment is because we have the verdict coming very shortly, very shortly. And so he doesn't want to put anything out there or, you know, start anything necessarily when we're so close to getting the verdict. I think right. he wants all focus to be on that. Let's see what all that focus is. And he quite likely would know or quite possibly know what the verdict is right now. If mm -hmm. Johnny and Amber have both already been told, then I'm sure Adam Waldman already knows what the verdict is. So he is probably just waiting, just waiting. Yep, I don't want to touch anything at all with social media and then my theory only is uh that he will come out afterwards after we mm -hmm. get the verdict and start saying some things yeah well wasn't it johnny johnny's um he's he's gonna make a statement through his lawyers and then ambi pants was gonna do a statement through ambi pants <laughs> through power source or, or power <laughs> anyway so start with starts with power and at two o'clock in the morning the other night i thought i need to find out who owns the media company that was going to uh, do her podium speech because she was going to do it was going to be powered by uh, stream yeah, yeah, through yeah, them. Yeah. So I'm like, who are they? And apparently they are connected to the sun. And she pulled, she pulled it. So my question now is, did she pull it or did they pull it? Mm. Good question. Good question. Did well, they pull you know, did they pull their own announcement because they know they lost? Mm. Well you, you know what Amber's like. She'll always she'll always uh, say that it was her decision because she doesn't want to look bad. She right. doesn't want anyone to think that she got yep. kicked off something. Right. But you know, I don't think the I don't think the, the media company would know. They wouldn't know. But Amber Amber probably did cancel it, in my opinion. I think she did because she's she's found out I'm guilty. Uh, I was, sorry, not I'm guilty, but by association, <laughs> um, she's she's guilty. Yeah. Um, and she doesn't want to get in front of everybody because she knows it's just going to look bad. And also for them as well, you know, maybe there's a possibility, a very, very small one, that she actually did listen to her lawyers for once. And her lawyer said, do you know what? Let's not forget Virginia here. Don't come out and say anything publicly because, you know what, you incriminate yourself all the time. Okay. So yeah. don't come out and say a thing. That's possible. That's possible. Well, and, and now she's she's got to worry about VA, but she also has to worry about Australia. Like yeah. I have so many questions 
about Australia, I would love to see them have enough of her nonsense. I, I would love to see it. And I want to see that. The fact that it got to that point that they're having that conversation within the House of Parliament speaks volumes. Speaks volumes that yeah. they that they are that serious. Mm -hmm. So I would love to see it. So she's just got so dear Lord, people. At what point? Okay, if I was if I was Amby Pants and I just had to go through this thing in the UK and now I'm being hauled off into VA and now I find out Australia wants me and now I find <laughs> out that I could possibly have perjury charges in all these places. At what point, at what point do you say that rock over there looks perfect? I'm going to live under there for the rest of my life. Like at one point yeah. you just say, I'm, I, I'm just going to fade away into the wall and you'll never, I'm going to change my name and you're never going to hear from me again. Ever. Okay, look, it, it, it all comes down to one thing, and I think I've discussed it on the live stream. When my friend told me back back in the day, he said, "Look, when you tell one lie, you got to tell another and another and another." But here's the thing: you're a celebrity. There are witnesses everywhere. You've got you got this, you got that. This is what comes with fame. This is what happens when you're famous. You got paparazzi. You got neighbors who are interested. You got people videotaping you. You got cameras going. Whether you accept that, you got people who you think you can trust. I turn around the next day and say, oh, look, they just pay me uh, whatever amount of money. I'm going to spill yep. the beans because, hell, they're paying me the money. I'm going to yep. put it on TV. And TV wants that. Or newspaper wants it because it's ratings, it's views, it's clicks, it's whatever it is that's going to get them sold, makes them money. They're going to do it. So her biggest mistake in all the whole entire thing, all could have been avoided. And she's in big, big crap right now. She really is. She's yeah. in big trouble. <laughs> and what could have been avoided was what he said on the recording. Amber, do you really want to do this? Right. Do you yeah. really want to go to court? Because I could just tell the media and we could put this puppy to bed. That's what I want. I just want to avoid mm -hmm. all this move and move on with our lives. That's what she should have done. She opened up a can of worms because of her confidence, her overconfidence. Yeah. And the one sentence she said that's going to her, nobody's going to believe you. Nobody, mm -hmm. because you're a man and I'm a woman. Yep. That yep. was the nail in the coffin. Horrible, horrible. Yeah. And, and it's, so, it's, it's so obvious in that one as well. It's so obvious in that audio where she's, she's she mentions over and over again, all of the timestamp photos, text messages. She keeps mentioning it, mentioning it, mentioning it. And it's mm -hmm. like, why are you bringing all of this stuff up? You're not in court right now. You're not in mm -hmm. court at the moment. So, like, um, you're bringing all these things up just to try and threaten him and and blackmail him into doing what you want. Yeah. So it, it's for, for a yeah. judge, like, if I'm a judge and I'm hearing that kind of stuff, like, just a human being, if I'm a human being, uh, listening to that stuff, you already know. You just go, well, she's obviously manipulating this whole thing. Like, yeah. <laughs> she's obviously, um, you know, trying to get her own way. So, yeah, it's just, mm, yeah, it's yeah. crazy. She's crazy. Because, uh, because, you, sorry, sorry, Shelby. I just, no, you're so, okay. you, so, Stevie, when you were, when you were talking, something, something sparked in my brain. So, when you, you mentioned something that I never really thought of before, that she was mentioning all of these things that she had to get him to agree to the blackmail, to try and scare him. It's a, it was a fear tactic, 100%. But at what point did she ever think, like, did was she ever worried that Johnny was going to go to someone and say, listen, she's threatening me with all this. We need to, we need to shut her up, mm -hmm. like, now, before, you know, the horse leaves the barn. Yeah. Like, she screwed herself even from that point. He's... He's got the patience of a saint. He really yeah. does. He's he's got the heart of gold. Like much like you, Stevie, I didn't really know much about him walking into this. Like I didn't know what mm. I was walking into. And yep. every time I read something, every time I hear something, every time I hear him talk, I just think, wow, what a stand-up dude. Stand-up yep. guy that is is just giving and caring and does so many things for so many people and things that he doesn't have to do. He just does it because he can. And he is a thoughtful guy that way. Like Amber has to know at some point that's all going to be shut down. Like that wall is coming down and I'm not going to allow you to, to bully me, but 
I guess this is something that she's been doing since for I don't know how long because he didn't seem too surprised because he said, you believe that, Amber? Like, you believe that? He he wasn't, it, it wasn't the tone of something that he's, this is the first time he's heard it, right? Like, th that's the impression I got was when, when she was saying, I've got this, I've got that and blah, blah, blah. All he said was like, you believe that? You, you believe mm. this story that you're telling me? Yep. Not, uh, what are you talking about? You know, this is the first I've heard of it. I don't know. It just, and I'm I mean, replaying that whole thing in my head now in a different way. It's the thing. Yeah. This could come back and hurt her, especially in Australia. You know, now they're investigating. And this could really, she put more, she thought, it's funny because her, her brain, this is what, I, I bet people influenced her. Her friends were like, listen, I'll tell you what. You get divorced from him, you're going to make a lot of money. And then we could all hang out. We could all have fun, blah, 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 blah. And she probably said, yeah, why, why, why not? You know, it's not worth it. I tried everything, you know. Let's go that out. And, and then she threatened him. And then she tried to, like you said, she tried to scare him. And I, I think that's what happened. She thought that he wouldn't fight back. I, I think that's what this all comes down to. Oh, I honestly think that it started from December. December 15th incident was when he was... I, because that's when they found out about the Australia dog situation. Like that's when they found out about that court case was the December 15th incident. So I think he's, he'd had enough. He's like, Oh my God, like first my finger, like I'm a very private dude. And all of a sudden my life isn't private anymore. My life isn't mine. My finger, now the Australian government, I think he had had it, had it with her. And so now she's like, Oh my God, I need to collect as much as I need to at this point. And she had to be a good girl from December to April, which she was because that was the timing of the Australia court case. So she was a good girl. But within the court documents, she submitted a picture. We don't know what the picture looks like, but she said this was from an incident from January 2016. It's like, well, why the hell don't we have a January 16th incident? Why not? Why are you producing pictures of things that you're just mentioning in passing? Hmm. Yeah. So... I think she just had, I think she just collected, I think she she practiced her bruises painting on with her makeup artist. And I think maybe, maybe it was for a role. And she's like, let's do that again. Let's try that again. And yeah. just started taking pictures because at the end of the day, well, you know, they, yeah. they, they don't appear in distance. Like, yeah, they may just appear. I've had bruises just, I wake up, I'm like, what the hell is that? But they don't just disappear, <laughs> right? Yeah, like, you're yeah. not gone the next day. So... I'm really sorry to chime in. I'm going to have to get going, Rob. Um, oh, man. Which is a oh. big bummer because I'm having an awesome time here, especially yeah. uh, with my arm around Amber Heard there in that <laughs> avatar. It's just, <laughs> it's just super exciting. Thanks, Shelby. <laughs> um, oh, my but, Rob, Rob, seriously, mate, thanks so much for having me on uh, this time and other times as well. And thank you for your coverage and your passion about this topic as well. It comes through in every single video, mate. Yeah. And, um yeah. Yeah, just really happy to have had this chat with you guys this morning and obviously super looking forward to the verdict. So well, I hope you, you yeah. if you didn't see it, I hope you catch my interview with Amber because, you know, she, she wants you to see it, Stevie. So I hope you catch that. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll catch that one for sure. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you haven't seen Stevie J uh, Raw, then I don't know, something's wrong with you guys. Please, uh, I always believe in supporting other channels. Please go out and hit that button, that notification bell. Check out Stevie. Watch my dad's video. Not me, not me, not me. <laughs> and, and make sure you see Steve. And tomorrow, well, in a few hours, I should say, he's going to go live and he's going to have the verdict on his channel. You don't want to miss it. Make sure you're there. It's going to happen. It's going to go down. And Stevie is going to be there. Make sure you're at his channel. You want to be there for it. Pumped. You know, all right, Stevie. Again, I hope I get to see you again, and thank you very much for being on the channel, man. I appreciate it. No worries yeah. at all. Thanks for having me. See you, Les. See you, Shelby. All right, we'll see, see, you later, you. see you in a couple see hours, you, everybody. Take care. See you yeah. soon. See you in a hours. And now, uh, Lady Toriel, thank you. She said she seems like a wackadoo. She does. Somebody else does. donated. I just I miss it. Who? Okay, <laughs> it was uh, Celtic Iron. He said justice for victims. Bless you, entertainment. To start with, thank you. I, I that's very nice. You, uh, that's nice. you know, listen. I'm going to speak, and, I, and I've said it, because I, 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 I wasn't confident in many years and ever talking about it. 
this has helped me actually realize, like, you know, I used to say, like, what did I do, man? What, from my perspective, like, after I saw Johnny went through it, and, and then I thought, you know, this is great that people are talking about it, and I had to dive into it to feel confident about it. And, and I don't tell, like, a lot of people about it, but it, it, it was bothersome because in my brain it's like, what did I do? You know, how could I have prevented this? What should I have done? What did I do to trigger this? Me, yeah. am I a bad person? Was, you know, should I have done, cleaned something, done something, participate? I, it's like a hundred things went through my head of why this happened. And my friend right. just came up to me and he said, Rob, you know, there is no answer. It's just no. who she is. This is not yep. your fault. And, you know, when he said that to me, you know, I was like, man, maybe he's right. He, and, and that's why I, when I was trying to look for the why Amber did this, why did she do it? And somebody came on and commented in my comment section. And they said, there is no why. This is. She could. Nope. Yeah. This is mentally. She has an issue. She mm -hmm. is something yep. up here that says to her, it's fine. She did. Mm -hmm. But it's what she did in reality is not fine. Right. It's not okay. Right. And I always say to people, and I'm, I'm going to say this for the rest of my life, before you act, think about if, you would, if you're you about to do to someone else, say to someone else, you want to have want that to happen to yourself. And if the answer is no, if you come out and say, well, I want to do this to somebody. Yeah, but if someone did that to you, how? what would you do? Mm -hmm. So if you say it's no, then don't do it. It's wrong. That's right. It's wrong That's right. because right, if you don't exactly. want it, to, yeah. If you don't want it done to you, don't do it to someone else. Bottom line. Well, and energetically, here's the thing: is that when we do things to other people, we're inviting it to happen to us. Yep. Because it's it's a it's a it's a full circle. It's karma. So if if we're so say I'm a troll and I come into all the streams and I just I'm a horrible horrible person. Like I like I hide behind another account. And I just come in and I bash you all. Well, guess what? Within my streams, within my channel, I will have more trolls and I will have more horrible comments because that's who I am. We don't attract what we are. We, we don't attract what we want. We attract what we are. Uh, so every time, every time nice. we, we do, a, a you know, we treat someone the way we want to be treated, that actually improves our life. So Amber, I'm sure, just assumes that I don't, I don't, maybe she thinks because she was maybe treated horribly at some point or throughout her childhood or throughout her life, she thinks it's okay, but she doesn't realize that if she stopped that, if she stopped, her life would improve tenfold, tenfold. Yep. No, for sure. For sure. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. And like, I, just one thing I wanted to say um, to branch off of this, if sorry if it's a little off topic, but I've been kind of thinking about it, is like, I find that it's horrible that this kind of thing happened, but also I feel like she's such, and I've said this before, she's such a self-destructive person mm -hmm. that I feel like she would have eventually sort of been stopped, for, in, maybe because she like, causes her own destruction if that makes sense if it wasn't johnny depp she would have ex it would have happened somewhere and that's actually a really concerning thing but it, it's really it's really just a crazy thing to think about like i mean in some ways it's a positive thing to me to know that she's kind of out there and her reputation has changed and shifted to show what kind of person person she truly is but it's really just i always struggle to get my mind my like brain around that and wrap my head around like the whole idea because it's just crazy. I don't know. Like you can, she, she just does stuff to screw other people over, but eventually I, even if it wasn't with Johnny Depp, I think she would have screwed herself over. And it's just sad that she's done so many horrible things to people along the way, because it's not just him that she did it to, you know, there's right. so many other yeah. people. Yeah. And I really yeah. hope that this, happening is kind of an end to it but you never know with her well true. shelby was it with you and stevie when we were having um an offline chat mm -hmm. I, for I forget who i was talking to but yeah. we started to have this conversation about like yeah she's gotten caught for these things and yeah they're right. big things Th these are massive things what hasn't yeah. she gotten caught for because this right. isn't it this isn't this isn't the only thing that she's done 
People like this build up to it. They she she would have tested the waters to see what she can get away with, and then she's like, "Oh, I can get away with this. What if I push it a little more?" And now here we are because she's pushed herself to the limit that it's it's just mind blowing. So how many people has she damaged, hurt, screwed over all of those things in her thirty four years? It's a it's lot scary. of people in thirty four years, especially being in Hollywood. You're right, right, exactly. And that's, yeah, we were talking about that. Oh, it was, uh, okay, it was us, okay. Yeah, it was us, yep. It was us yesterday, I think. It, it's it, it's concerning to think about that because you're right. The, uh, people like this really test the waters and they have to build up to this stuff. And she wasn't always famous, you know? She wasn't, we don't know everything she did. We don't know everything she's done. So there's a lot of things out there that, you know, she could have done that are really bad and I wouldn't be surprised. And that's really what worries me because it goes back to how I said, she's a very destructive person. There's nothing I feel like in her brain that tells her not to do things that are bad. So I wouldn't put it past her. Like if, if all this stuff came out against her, I'm scared to find out, honestly, like, am mm -hmm. I, I think about that sometimes I'm afraid to know what she could have done. Like there's so many things that, that other people might not even know about that only she knows about that yeah. she's done. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cause what, with some of these people with, with what's going on up here with her, they actually get up in the morning. They're like, how can I screw over this person today? Like, how yep. can I make their lives miserable? And well, it's that sad. That's sad. It's, that you have it's to be sad, that. right? Like, is, don't let is, people yeah. live their lives. Just let them live it. And if you're not happy with your own, destroying theirs is only going to destroy yours further. So focus on yourself, focus on your own nonsense, and you might get a little bit further, but she can't figure that out. Like at some point, I think at some point we all have a little inkling that eh, maybe I should just not do this. Yep. But she, she doesn't seem to have it. And I don't know. I keep thinking that when this is all over and she gets busted for all her shenanigans, I keep wondering how many people are going to come out of the woodwork and say, mm -hmm. okay, I want my turn next. She screwed me over me next. And That's I'm waiting point. for the day that Muskie does it. I'm waiting for the yeah. day that Muskie says she shut me up because she's got all, she's got X, Y, and Z and I'm bringing it to you first. So she cannot hold it over against me. And here we go. Right. Yep. Here we I, go. I just can't wait. Oh, go sorry. ahead. Go ahead. No, I just uh, I saw Patty uh, Patty uh, FLA. Uh, she said, "You guys are great. Uh, thank you very much." Uh, Wendy, mm, I, you, Wendy honey. said, "Indeed, uh, she did put it out there for all to hear and read." And uh, and Moonshade said uh, that's where she went wrong. She's now abused TV survivors by lying. Yeah, so it's mm -hmm. it's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's it, it's really it is. It, you yeah. know. <sighs> To me, I think everybody's right. See, this case is not just about, to many people, it's like you said before, Les, it's about the victims. It's about the people who have been abused, who were scared to do anything, who said, you know, because they're fearful. You know, let's be let's be honest. It's real life. I'm, I'm going to give you something that happened in court, okay? Uh, I used to work with family court. And a woman came in there, and it was late at night. We called it intake. Intake means we take in people last second who need orders of protection because they're being abused that mm -hmm. minute, okay? We had many cases, I can tell you. We had many on my calendar. We had 20, 30 a night they were coming. So this one woman came in, and she got an order of protection, and she thought that this piece of paper was like a shield. You know, this protection is meant that if this person ever gets in, does these certain things, that they can get arrested. But she had it served by the police who went to his house and they served her boyfriend. This mm -hmm. is how scary this is, okay? This is reality. This guy lost it. He came to her house. Oh she God. said, get out of here. I have an order of protection. She showed it to his face and he killed her. Yeah. He shot her in the head. The next day, mm -hmm. we had that case. We had that case. The judge read about it in the paper and realized, oh, my God, this is the one we just saw. That's the last case we had on the calendar last night. And we were like, like, we didn't believe that that was possible. Yeah. But it was. And it's exactly what happened. So the reality of this is, is it's scary out there. 
And there's a lot of people who the reality is you don't know what this person who's abused you is capable of doing. Right. And it's, sometimes it's like, okay, yeah, I want to protect myself, but at the same token, if I do that, am I adding gasoline to a fire? A lot of the times you are. A lot of the times you are. Because, uh, yeah, and the thing is, it's a piece of, it is just a piece of paper. And even with my own, um, he was still calling and showing up and things. And this is this is where I have an issue with the, with the police department and the legal system is that every time he did that, I will call them and I would say, you did it again. And they're like, but it's not that bad. Like he would send a text message. And it's they, and not they, that bad. It's they're... not that bad, but he's not allowed to be doing this. Yeah. It's not that bad. I can't but believe I just heard Even him that. sending a nice, nice yeah. text message is still a threat for me. You don't know what that's doing to me on the right. inside. I now cannot leave my house. I am right. now shaking like a leaf in, like I am locking all the doors behind me. And my last stop is the very furthest bathroom I can find in my house. And I'm locking the door and that's it. I, I stayed in my house forever because the cops just wouldn't do anything. I have zero, zero trust in my local the police department. Well, this, zero. This, this is Cherry Case that she said that's I feel what, across the country. You, see, exactly. This is what, what yep. Wendy post. Wendy put, your right fear is, is uh, very strongly engraved in our minds, no matter how far away the user is. You're scared of them. And exactly, you know, putting it, gasoline to the fire. There yep. was a movie way back when yep. it was with, um, oh God, I see this woman. She was famous at the time. She was in, um, she was in a movie with Richard Greer, a pretty, uh, uh, oh, Julia on. Roberts? Julia Roberts, yes. She had a movie like that. That was like a domestic violence case. Who was sleeping with the enemy? Yes. She yeah. pretended that yep. she got killed on the boat, right? To, ju to find a way to get away from this man, yeah. right? So she, yeah. she faked her own death. That's how scared, she knew the only way out was do something drastic like that. Yep. And she started a whole new life. And then this guy wound up finding her. Found her. And yep. and this movie, like, wow, that really hit me because that's like that was a powerful, powerful movie, sleeping with yeah. the enemy. If you haven't seen one. it, I'm telling you, it's like wow, I wow. It's a very, very scary and a very powerful movie because this is something that could, I think but also Jennifer Lopez did a movie similar. Ooh, Yes. Enough. Yeah. Yes. And so, okay. and I remember seeing these movies. I just couldn't remember the titles and stuff. It was Julia Roberts, actually. That's and you, this, this, I, I tell you, there's things we don't see every day, you know. So yeah. when you see this happen to a celebrity, some people can relate to it and like, yeah, I got your back, man, because this happened mm -hmm. to me. You know, mm -hmm. I can't fight. You know, listen, real reality. I'm not a celebrity. I don't know what can happen to me. I rather lay low, run away. That's what a normal, normal person who's a victim will do. Okay, run away. Yeah, listen, run away. I have, I avoided. Don't think I didn't for because this person almost ran me over with her car. How do I know so what sorry. she's going to do to me in the future? Yeah, right. Okay, I don't know if she's going to come to the job and wait for me. I don't know if she's going to attack me. I don't know if I'm dating someone else. She's going to follow me, stalk mm -hmm. me. I don't know. So believe you when I tell you. Yeah, I was nervous. I didn't yeah. want to give her my address. I didn't want to tell her who I was. I, I prayed that she did not go and, and look me up in any sort of way because I said she almost ran me over with a car. She was trying to yeah. take out my eyeballs with nails. What else is she capable of doing to me? And I'm not going to, you know, if it worst comes to worst, I have to defend myself, but who are the cops going to believe? Right. Me or her? And I yeah. thought that that was in my head too. And mm -hmm. I was like, I, I really didn't want to hurt her. I just wanted to move on like Johnny did. I just wanted to end it, go your way, live your life, get away from me. Let me live yeah. mine, you know? Don't come after me. Don't attack me. I yeah. I don't even know what you're attacking me for. I don't know what I did to you. I, 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 I would you prevent. Left. Yeah, I. it was just it, it's scary. It's a scary feeling to go. And as a man, you know what? It's even more scary because I'm thinking, if I get locked up, am I going to lose my job? If my yeah. career over, yeah. what am I going to do for a living? What, uh, how am I going to fight this? How am I going to prove yeah. that I'm innocent? So these thoughts are also running up in my head. I'm like, listen, I can't hurt this woman no matter what I do. No matter what happens, if she hits me, hurts me, I'm bleeding, whatever. My first thought was do not, do not hit her. Do not hit her. Do not. That kept going in my brain over and over and over again. I just wanted out. 
just want it out. That's all I wanted to do. So I get it. I, mm-hmm. I know. And Amber Heard, if you're a victim, that's what you do. You run. You run or you look for protection. Or you mm-hmm. look do both. You look for yeah. protection yeah. and you leave. That's what you do. That's what tells me that the judge should be smart enough. That information alone should say, why would you film this guy? Why yeah. would you instigate this guy? Why do you keep following this guy? Why do you keep harassing this guy? That yeah. is not what a victim does. Yeah, and no. and and you're absolutely right because a lot of people are just very quick. The people that just don't, they're they're not versed in it and they've never experienced it. They're like, well, she should have just left. And if if what she's saying is true, it's not that easy. It's not that mm-hmm. easy. Like that's what they say. It could take up seven to ten times for us to keep going back to to the abuser. Like yep. so, it's never any shame. Like if you get away and you go back. I don't want anyone to feel shame because that's the normal process. The trauma bond is so real. It's a normal process, but um, that when you're done when, and so that's why Johnny stayed because he was terrified of what she was going to do. She was terrified. Was it, was it that or was it because he was truly in love with her? He forgave what she did. I think he was worried about the after effect. I think at some point um, it turned to from love to she could destroy me and I don't know what she's capable of. Yeah, for sure. I, I, it could be a mixed bag of tricks of all the emotions. Uh-huh. Love was definitely in there. Yeah. I truly believe he loved her with every cell yeah. in his body. And it, it's just so unfortunate that, you know, we never, we never want to blame the victim, but you're absolutely right. She stuck around and she, she kept following him and now she wants to be there when his deposition. Cause I said for this deposition that's coming up, I said, can't they just do that from zoom? Like they did the court case with zoom. So why can't they do the deposition with zoom? And every, and, and I was waiting for the answer. Cause everyone's like, Amber wants to be there in the room yep. to sit there and intimidate him. That's why she went to the UK. She was never required to go to the UK ever. It yeah. was, it was, she, they said, we can do this. We have the, the court documents that say, we can do this via via video link. So there's no need for you to come during a pandemic. And she's like, no, I want Johnny to look me in the eye. And she also wanted to know exactly what he was saying. So she could start to to weave her story and and weave her story within his story. That's another reason. But she wanted to be there to look him in the eye and say, look what I'm doing to you. This, all me. Look what I can do. It's that silent yep. threat of her just being in the room. Look what I did. Look what I did to you. All and Shelby, this- I wanted to say thank you. I happened to see you dropped 199 in the chat. I don't know. I just came across my screen. Uh, not on this, it, it's not coming across my uh, my my yeah. live here for Streamyards for some reason. But I did uh-huh. see it on my phone. It just popped up and said, "Shelby, well, you know, th- thank you so much. I, I'm I'm so sorry I missed that, but I'm trying to catch." what I can on my phone, but thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll that. never forgive you. I'm going to find it hard to forgive you. It's like, you know, it's going to take me a while, but um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'll, let you, I'll let you know when I'm over it. You'll get a call in a couple years. Yeah, I'll tell you I'm over it. I'll, we'll speak about it. Like, we'll, you know, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll revisit it every week and I'll see how I feel. <laughs> yeah, every week I'll I'll come to you and I'll be like, you know what? Mm. Today's not your day, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't oh my gosh, I'm like having these brain farts. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know what were we talking about? <laughs> well, you listen, I'll t- I'll tell you what, I'll give you the floor. You can say anything you want about it. Go ahead, you can talk you about do not want whatever to do you that. want. No, no, <laughs> no. I, I'm bowing out of this one. She's an embarrassment. <laughs> oh, no. I'm All right, guys, here's the truth. I'm ahead. coming out with the truth. All right. I'm going to I'm going to expose everybody here. So first of all, <clears throat> spiritually empowered coaching is lying about who she truly is. Um, I'm just kidding. Um, so <laughs> oh, so <what? laughs> but, anyway. <laughs> but anyway, guys, yeah. So I don't even know where this conversation's going because I'm like <laughs> laughing too much. I don't know why I'm laughing, but anyway, um, yeah, I think Amber's horrible, and I hope that she loses. Um, if even if she even if she won, my whole thing is like, okay, 
we're not going to, we're not going to like let up on her, you know, even if, even if she, if she technically, well, I know it's not necessarily that she would win on Monday, but even if Johnny Depp lost on Monday or, you know, that kind of thing, even if it didn't go in his favor, we are not going to let up. We're still going to like make her life hard. So that's another thing to remember. Um, of course, in an ethical way, but I just wanted to put that out there. I don't know what you guys think, but I, it's not like we're going to give up on this. So we'll see what happens. You guys are nervous about tomorrow? Oh, if, oh I should say less than, I don't know, what, 24 hours? Wait, I, why did I not say tomorrow? I said Monday. What the in heck? I was like, Monday, tomorrow. 13 hours we are going live with Stevie J. 13. I need Isn't to get a nap in there yeah. somewhere. Because my Ain't old bones crazy? can't handle it. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I mean, just the fun of it. But you know, before I, mean, I know you guys will probably want to go and wrap up and you got your own things you gotta do. And I really appreciate you guys coming out here and I appreciate the chat and everybody who's donating and the ones I've missed, and I truly apologize for that. I don't know what's wrong with this stupid thing. So Les, I know what you were going through in your stream. You're like, did I miss something? Did I miss Yeah, yeah. It was so frustrating because I could see everyone was like, You have stuff. I'm like, I don't see it. I don't know. Yeah, I it don't see so it. It was so frustrating. It broke my heart that I can't Thank people. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I feel the same way, and I'm like, but I, I, guess I, I met Stevie J. Roars. You guys were saying because I was at work, and when I came on, it was all this stuff. Could you just explain to me what the hell happened on his live show? What happened? Oh yeah. Well, Shelby, you take it because you're the one that that went behind the scenes and kind of figured out how maybe it happened. Yeah. So. Basically, um, what's happening is like, first of all, I'll give like the, I'm like, I won't get like too into it to not confuse people, but like, obviously I'll explain it. But basically we were, how long? We were like 25 minutes into the stream. Like we were into the stream for a good amount of time yeah. and then it just started getting really weird. Yeah. So first we got some, people were saying like, lock him up like they were saying like lock Johnny Depp up because we were doing the lock her up thing like the lock her up thing was going like really crazy like it was going like like for five minutes straight or probably more like the whole yeah, stream honestly. it was crazy it was crazy and I don't know if that's what like triggered something to happen because I was starting to get that impression but I can't mm -hmm. say for sure but then people started saying lock him up and then they started yeah. getting political and saying all this nonsense and then, so we thought it was bots because it, a lot of it seemed very, like, coordinated. Well, then, though, I think there were, like, some Amber Heard supporters or something in there because I had, like, three of them start fighting with me. Like, one of them was like, Shelby, you sound like a bitch. <laughs> it was really funny. Well, it was really funny. And then <laughs> I, I agree with that, Amber Stan. <laughs> you know what? Get out of here. I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you an avatar now. Just, just wait and see. Oh no! Oh no! You don't want to show up. <laughs> you asked for it last. Bring it. For it. Bring it. I'm ready. Yeah. And then I looked into it. I went behind the scenes. Just in case people are listening in, I'm not going to say what exactly what I think the issue is there because I don't want. Um, you know, like, if I say that I discovered it, who knows if they'll try to do some kind of other weird, sketchy thing, if that makes sense. So, hmm. there's, like, there's some kind of strange, like, behind-the-scenes programming, I think, going on there. And, um, long story short, there was some really weird stuff going on. We did all, all the moderators did a great job at booting these people out, kicking them out. Um, it was just a crazy thing. Like, there's... I'm probably missing some stuff, but if Les wants to fill in the gaps, it was just wild. Well, the th the, th the funny thing was, is that we were saying, you know, we get the dislike. And then the dislike, we're like, hi, Amber. Oh, by the way, guys, apparently uh, I saw in the chat, Amber is here. Hi, Amber. Hey, fans. Amber. Hi. <laughs> and uh, the, the, the dislikes were going up. And Stevie was getting yeah. excited because he's like, oh, my God, like, this is ridiculous. Never had this many. So he's like, can we get to 50? And as soon as he said that, they started going up and up and up. And then at the end of the stream, I think um, Misanthropy found it like a couple of hours later. And it went from like 62 dislikes 
to four. So all of those were actually bots, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they would have been removed from the system with their dislikes along with it. So right. they proved what they did. They, they proved that they weren't real people, but that just goes to prove that. And also, I also posted on Twitter that I remember hearing, not hearing, reading one of her stands say when they were when they were told to boycott London Fields, the movie, they said, Amber told us to and we did what we were told. Amber mm. told us to boycott and we did what we were told. I'm like, well, that tells us everything we need to know about her stands. They will do yep. whatever they're told. And yep. if that's the kind of people you have behind you, then... No, I want everyone to be able to have make their own decisions if they feel like something isn't right to not follow this woman blindly. Yeah, and that's what they're doing. So she could have a computer person much like, you know, like, oh, my God, Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she could. She could have that. I think I, it was definitely a coordinated attack. Someone it was, was coordinated. Something. It was very strange. I think if if you ever have any, if either of you guys have any problems, like I mean, I went and think I figured out what was going on with that. So if you have any issues with that, let me know and I can see what I can do. But yeah. there's some. It was just oh it my god, weird. Crazy. it was weird. weird. Because um, we don't have that. Like, and honestly, like when I first started covering, I did get a lot of hate. I was told I was a woman hater. I was yeah. told, you know, he's not going to sleep with you. All yeah, of these, I was like, oh my God. Clearly, oh clearly, like, God. come on. How, like, that just goes to show that they're just like not oh paying attention. Gosh. But Stupid, that stopped yeah. after a while. That stopped. All of that hate stopped. And it was nothing but positivity. And if we do have someone in the chat that isn't, or even in the comment section, they're taken care of. And if it's not taken care of by me, it's taken care of before I even get there. Yeah. Like, and that's what I love about all our people is that it's, it's a community and it's a loving community. And I can't say the same for hers. I can't say no. the same for her people. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're not loving people. Listen, if, no, they're, they're off if, the hook. If some people like you, know, you listen, you you never have everything you agree. All right, that, that, like I don't care what fandom you're in, what you believe in. You know, no one's going to believe everything I say, or no one's going to agree with everything I say. And that's right. fine, you because this is life. We all have our opinions. Mm -hmm. We're all entitled to our opinions. Some people, you know, her friends, her family, they're big fans of hers for whatever. Yeah. They see movies, they really liked her, and, and that's fine. If if you can support her, okay, I, I'm not going to hate you because that's right. how you feel. If that's how you feel and that's what you, it's great. Right. But I'm entitled to my opinion. And I, yeah. and I, and everything I've seen, everything, and I tried to cover this as fairly. I put out things about her and I had someone say, how could you say this about Johnny? Mm -hmm. You need to take this video down. I said, listen. I'm putting the truth out there. This is what Amber went on the stand, and this is what she said. And that's what I'm not going to just put Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp, no. Amber, all negative stuff. If Amber says something, I'm going to put it out there. I'm not saying it's true. I didn't say right. it's true. Okay? Because look at what she said was true. And look at how all those things that she said was true are coming out now, and people are saying, that's not true. Right. That's not what happened. The woman, the, the officer at the airport is just another example of saying, that's not it. I'm that's not I'm arrested you and look who I am as a person. So obviously you don't know who I am. So how dare you? So and I'm glad that TMZ brought that out because they just shoved it right up their butts. Like both of you were lying. Both of you mm -hmm. got busted. This is what happened. Amber hit you. You are protector. And that's the and you're gonna yeah. put the blame on the police officer who said, But I'm I'm a lesbian. Yeah. I'm not homophobic. If I how yeah. What kind of what kind of sense would that make? You're right. saying I go against what I'm into, right? What, I, 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 that's, and 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 this is what it is. You just just some people are so in the mind of one way mm -hmm. they don't want to yep. see any other way. It's like yeah, I, they don't want to hear anything else. This is it. Coming from a court again, I said I'm a Libra. My sign is a scale. I'm in a court. My sign is the sign of the court is scale. I weigh things. I I know, like the judge always said to me, there's two sides to every story and one is the truth, right? Mm -hmm. And that's how it is. The judge's job is to see through the BS 
and get the truth. Okay, what's your side? I gotta hear your side. I have to be fair. And I can't I can't just post judgment because you said he did it and you said she did it, and that's the end of the story. Because look what happened. If we just went three years ago on what Amber said, then Johnny Depp is guilty. That's it. That's our judgment. Johnny Depp yeah. is guilty. He beat her. Damn him. Get him fired. You know, that would have been everybody's thing. But wait a minute. John was out says, wait a minute. Let me show you my side of the story. Yeah. Here's my proof. No, no, she's lying. Yeah, prove it. Okay, here's the tapes. How about now? Yeah. Whoa, yeah. whoa, wait yeah. a second. Wait a minute. Let's wait take a step second. back. Let's take a step back. Listen to what she said here. Listen to what she did. Listen to these tapes. Look right. at the video. Look at the video. Look at the videos in the elevator. Look, who's this guy? Wait a minute. The time is one month after you're married. That's not your husband. That's right. Who are you hugging? Mm -hmm. Who are you cuddling with? Wait a mm -hmm. second. Yep. So mm -hmm. you can't always just say, okay, you, you got to hear both sides of the story. You got to see the evidence in front of you. And then you got to make a judgment. This is what the judge says. Yes, she put makeup on. She went to court. She pulled a really good one, right? Because she knows in her mind the judge is not going to come to my house the next day, right? Right. Yeah, but your neighbor's there. Yeah, but cameras are watching you in the street the next day when you're out with your friend laughing. <laughs> and your yeah. face is totally fine. And and also with, with this with Hello. she went to she went to um Sweetser House on May 24th, and that's where Hilda saw her and said, I didn't see anything on her face. But I would love to see the CCTV footage from Sweetser because yeah. Sweetser is full of of uh cameras. So I would love to see uh like images of her from that day because something tells me she doesn't wear a lot of makeup when she doesn't have to because she doesn't have to she's just got one of those faces that is just naturally like that yep. she doesn't she doesn't need the added touch and she knows it and so for her to say i never leave the house without makeup but yet we have a ton of proof to say that's wrong. I want to see the video proof. Like, of course, I believe Hilda. Of course, I believe her. Because why would she lie? But I also want to see with my own eyeballs. I want to see that that CCTV footage from that house. Because he left the country and she's rummaging through his homes. So that's, uh, once again, I wouldn't have touched. I wasn't allowed to touch his cars. I wasn't allowed to touch anything in my house. And all, like, I wasn't allowed to breathe properly without getting in trouble. So the fact that she had no problem going to his home after this and rummaging through his things tells me once again, she was not terrified of John. Yep. Oh, you, she, she, she proved over and over again. She, yeah, she proved over and over again she's not terrified she of this guy. She wasn't scared of him. No, no. she was How could she be scared of it? You know, listen, like, like everything she, again, her whole side of the story here is one thing. Drugs, alcohol, let the violence. Drugs, I pulled my hair, this, that, this. If you were beat down so bad, believe me, you'd be shaking, you'd be scared, you'd be... And she has money. She could have just left, flew away her parents and Johnny would have never seen her again had he had he done it. That's the first thing on my mind. Had this guy beat the crap out of me, you know what I'm... And I've got money. I've got money. I'm going to my parents. I'm going mm -hmm. to my friends. I'm going to... You can't find me, mofo. I'm getting hell out. I don't care about my stuff. I could buy all new things. Just money. Stuff. I have money. Yeah. But I'm not going to go back in a home where you're going to beat me up all night. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to get the hell out of it. So she is full of crap. She's not your normal person who has a job, who has to get through nine to five or the paycheck. She has money. If she wanted to run, she could have chosen any day, shape, form, took a plane, done whatever she wanted. She could have got out of there without a worry if she was truly that scared of this so -called yeah. Johnny Depp abuse. Yeah. And Please. every time, every time she did say that, oh, I went to a hotel because I was afraid of him to find yeah. out that it was, he paid for the hotel because he didn't want to, um, he didn't want to put up with her. He, he needed time to detox and heal from his finger and do all these things that he needed to do for himself. He paid for that hotel. So when she said in one of the recordings, she said, I can't afford to keep going to the hotel. I don't have that kind of money. I'm like, no, because Johnny is paying for that. Every time you act up, you get sent to the Beverly Hill Hotel. Yeah. So, you know, much you, you could have downgraded and gone to Motel 6. <laughs> so don't tell me that it's because you couldn't afford it. No, you couldn't afford, you know, the Plaza Hotel. That's what you couldn't but, afford. 
But Johnny okay, could afford it for her. Yes, but what about Musk? Musk was her friend to this day. To this day, I even though they're not dating, what he doesn't have I, that, he would say, Yeah, but why but what do you need? You need to go to a hotel? I got your back. You need a lawyer? I got Musk would have done anything for her at this. He believes her. He's totally on her page. He totally doesn't like Johnny. It's obvious. He would have gave obvious. it. He, but and he's got money. Please, she could have ran to him and he would have took care of her easily. She gave him silent treatment. And I would love to know if I could ask Musky anything. It would be at when, how much silent treatment did she give? Because he was the first one that we can see because we don't have all of her text messages. He was the first one that she texted and said, it's over, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And uh, and he they, they were talking about the silent treatment she was giving him. So I want to know how long that was. Was it for the fact that she had to behave herself for those four, four or five months? in the Australia dog situation was going on and she just couldn't have Musky sniffing around or was she waiting to get Johnny out of the way so she can move into her, you know, get away from her millionaire and move in with her billionaire. Like I, I just don't know how she handled that whole thing. So be very interesting. And I don't even know if Musk has received his subpoena yet. Is he still dodging that damn thing? I'm still wondering about the embryos. Does anybody know yeah. about that? Yeah, no, Shelby and I are going to go digging into Muskie. We're yeah. we're not going to be friends with Muskie once we're done with him. But no, we're, we're gonna not. we're gonna do a deep dive into Musk once yeah, we have, have the to, verdict and everything. If he wants to keep me quiet, he, all he has to do is send me a Tesla. Like that's what we have to get. We just need to get the word out there. If he wants us to stay quiet, we'll pull an Amber Heard. We'll get the money. We'll get the. You know, we're 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 diving deep. I really need to, yeah, the, his crap is so interesting to me. Like the relationship there, it's it always gave me weird vibes. Like, I mean, obviously, but I don't know. It's just it's this they, this circle of people, they're all crazy. And they're just all this stuff happening. Like I can't wrap my head around it. Well, by the way, I, I'm going to quote this, but I think her mother passed, no? She said, if Johnny was yeah. really, uh, Kelly says, Kelly Jones says, if Johnny was really abusing her, wouldn't her mother try to get out of the situation as a mom? I would, but I think her mom passed. Am, am I but just this that? year. But just year. this year. Just this year. Just this year. Yeah. yeah so so I, her mom would, was around. Why wouldn't your own mother? Yeah. Now, here's another her question. Her own mother would be in this because. Hmm. I think her it's mom sad, sort of it's really knew. Sad. Yeah, I think her, Amber's mother, well, first to start off, I'm pretty sure we all know that Amber, or a lot of us know, I think her mom was a decent person, right? To my assumption- I'm going to go with that. Yeah, yes. I'm going to go with the assumption that her mom was an okay Ooh, person, seems yes. like a good lady. Look at that. Oh my God. Yeah, so yeah, sorry. we all agree with that. Yep. I'm so sorry that that happened and perfectly perfect. That's horrible. Yeah. Oh, God. oh my God. I don't know nothing I about that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, that's horrible. Oh, I am and it not. happens. That that's the sad part is that it it happens more often than we would like to think oh about. My god, admit. Man, that's... it's 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 a, it's it's a truth bomb, right? Like it is it is reality in your face, and wow, a lot that's... of and so many people would just, I'm sure, love to dismiss that. My heart Donald, goes out oh my, God. my heart goes out. Donald! What Holy the hell? Shit, dude. Donald! Wow. Donald! Dude, you're so nice. Why do you do this? You don't have to. Oh, my God. You're Donald said... So nice. Support of my favorite content creators, Rob Les, Shelby, and Stevie. If you can please divide it up equally, does YouTube still take 30%? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. If so, I've added that. Oh, to cover. oh, my God. Donald, you don't have to be this generous. That's amazing. That well, is amazing. What I, the only thing I know I could do is when I could uh, just do their streams and drop a dime. <laughs> so that's what I'll do. That's how I'll even it up. I'll just, when they stream, I'll just be like, boop, don't eat, don't eat. I do it oh, anyway. Perfect. Trust me, I do it anyway, Donald. Yes, you I go do. On their stream and every time, yeah. like I'll tell you, go on Stevie stream and it's gonna be the same way to this morning. Whether or not you did anything or not, that's just me. 
I, I try to support everybody, and that's what I'm, I'm just going to do that, you know, for, you know, whoever I support. That's just what I do. Thank you. you. Know? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you guys are awesome. I mean, thank listen, you so much. Donald, that's really, wow. Uh, man. Yeah, <sighs> it's. That's overwhelming right now. My heart is like jumping out Amazing. the wall. It's like, wow, oh, man, Donald, thank you. That's, whoo, boy, dude, thank you so much. I, I, I got him. I, you know what? I'd love to get him on this live stream. Mm. Yeah. I, I just, yes. I'd love to get like a lot of people. Like I think one day I'd love to get the people in the chat. I mean, it's almost impossible because I can only have six people on, but I would love to have like quick live streams with them. I, I want to do that. I would love to see. They, they don't have to show their face either. Right. That, that, they could just show the con or something. Mm -hmm. Just to see, get the quick th uh, thoughts on what they think. I would love to do that. I mean, there's so many people. I don't know how I could possibly do that. But it would well, be Well, you fun know what? It would be fun. To Sorry to cut you off there. Tomorrow, maybe tomorrow after our stream, I think we might, maybe we'll do a stream on my channel later or something. I know we're kind of figuring it out as we go maybe we can have some special guests to celebrate the stream we can invite <laughs> on. maybe i'll have them on my channel that would be oh, great crap. we be need great. to talk to stevie about that because we're gonna go live stevie then me mm. then you yeah um we're gonna have to sort out times Oof. great we can talk after this. Yeah. Um, well, you don't yeah, have to I, worry ju about I just me. had a thought that Steve, it's, I don't I don't even know if, yeah, anyway. Don't have to worry about me because if I stream, it's got to be at night because I've got to work tomorrow. So there's yeah. nothing I can do. If I stream, yeah, it's yeah. got to be only at nighttime. So I'm free at night if anybody streams, you stream, or if you're going well, to even It's up to you guys. Depending on what time it, you go, you, you stream at. Like eight, eight thirty, something like that. I could do. If I'm still, if I'm still walking upright, then yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a long, it's gonna be a long day full of emotion. I am sure of it. All right, you know what you should do? Send just go ahead and send that one twenty over to Les so that she can buy alcohol with it because it'll get her today. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, Les, what you could do now is you could just take you know stuff now and then you know. What is your alarm for later on? You know, that's what I would do. You know, if you want to, you know, make a meal, relax, you know, whatever you want to do. It's a good then, idea. I haven't eaten yet today, so that's yeah. a really good idea. Yeah, just because I'm going to go to bed earlier tonight because I was thinking I'm going to wake up early tomorrow. So I might as well just, you know, go to bed a little early to get, try to yeah. get everything done and go to bed, you know, that's yeah. what I'm going to do. That man, really appreciate it. everybody who's given. I'm just gonna because we're getting that two hour mark. This is probably the oh longest goodness. stream I've been on. Uh, and listen, it's gone fast. I, mean, I can't believe two hours. You know, I, I'm gonna be honest with everybody here. When I first had you guys on last Sunday, I was like, man, am I gonna be able to hold a stream for an hour? You know, a half hour? I don't know. I'm not really totally prepared. I was so excited. Like, my I was like, because I was nervous. I never met you two before. Haven't no. seen you on. You know, yeah, Shelby's know. scary. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. Who do I get it from? It's a little nerve wracking, but it went so fast. And today is like flown. I mean, I can't believe yeah. that we have 195 people, which is incredible. The most I've had. I'm like breaking records. Donald is breaking records like, with the donations. <laughs> I mean, I don't know it's, what to say. it's a good month. It's a good month. Uh, you know, and everybody here has been so kind to me today. I missed some super chats. I'm gonna have to do this whole stream, and I'm gonna have to do like a thank you stream or something. I'm, I'm gonna mm. have to do it. I think I'm gonna do a thank you video, and I'll put all the super chats on there, and I'll play some music, and I'll just make a thank you video to everybody who's donated. Everybody who's really good here. Idea. My heart goes out to you. Amazing. We, the same thing. We we. I think it's a good idea. We are yeah. hours away, people. Hours away. This yes, is it. We are. This is it. We do a live stream. This is the pre-game live stream. And now, now we're gonna have go into Stevie J Raw. And at, for me, it's gonna be 4 30 in the morning. We are watching, and we're gonna get our vert. So we're gonna have a big day tomorrow. I'm ending there. So make sure I'm getting called. So he's coming, sure he's coming. <laughs> they're saying I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> So make sure you turn into Stevie J Raw. If you could wake up early in the morning, I don't know what time zone you're in. The decision's coming, people. It's coming. If you haven't checked out Spirit 
Strictly Empowered Coaching. If you haven't talked about so be soon. If you haven't talked about Stevie, please subscribe to their channels. Check them out. Mary Scott, I can't thank you again. She said, thank you all, Les and Shelby. I will catch you both when you are live streaming and I am around. Thank you so much again, Mary Scott. I can't thank you enough. I think you, everybody Mary. who's been here, the 195 of you who are here, lock her up is going through That's the awful. chat. Lock her up. Lock yeah. her up. Listen, I want to get mine in. If you can make Stevie J. Roars, let's do it. Let's be there. Let's, let's celebrate. Let's hear this because I am <laughs> pins and needles. I am pumped up for this. And I hope you are too. And I, if I stream tomorrow night, we'll talk about it. I will. I will try to catch your streams at work. I'll try to put hide my phone and sneak it in, okay. you know, catch your but live what, streams. But you'll, you'll be around for like the, the fourth, like the five o'clock version. Oh, right? I'm, go I'm going to be out in the morning. Yeah. I'm going to. Okay. I, I told my wife, I said, I'm going to go downstairs because if I decide to scream or jump around, I won't wake up the family. So I said, right. I'm just going to go downstairs with my camera and, you know, enjoy, enjoy it. So are you going to, are you going to stream as well? To well, no, people... because it's it's Stevie's. I don't want to, you know, it's his, and I'm not going to do that. I refuse. Okay. Uh, I don't like jump. If you guys are stream. I will not stream the same time as you guys because yeah, we're, we do I the don't want to yeah. do that. If I stream, yeah, we do gonna, the same. Yeah, if I stream, it's going to be at night. I'm going to say, hey, any of you, if you streaming? If you guys aren't streaming, I'll send you in. Do you want to talk tonight? If you can't. We'll do Tuesday and Wednesday night, whatever. And we'll do we'll do we'll do an after party stream. You know, we could okay, talk about this. You've had us on so many times. I would love to return the favor and have yeah. everyone on mine. Like I would love that. So we'll we'll sort on something free out. Free most nights. I okay. could always as long as you tell me in advance, I can free up my schedule. Yeah, um, I can do that. It's up to you. I mean, you know, I like I said, I work Monday to Friday, so nighttime I can free up my schedule for one night. Sure. Okay. Sounds sure. good. I look forward to that. So we'll yeah. sort that out. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. To every Thank single you. person who was here, who stuck around, who donated. Oh man, the nerves, the nerves. No, no. It's, it's a, it's a end of stream. Oh my God, I can feel my body shaking. Like, yeah, oh my yeah, God, I can feel how tense because I know it's hours away and I know I should be positive. But you know what? I don't want to be an Amber Heard. I don't want to be all confident. I don't want to say, see, I told you. So. No, no. I'm just like, okay. And I know I'm going to be so nervous. Like, watch this stream. I'm going to be like, oh my God. Oh my god, come on. Oh my god, give him 50 mil. Give him 50 mil. Give him give you know give him all the money. Yeah, give him all the money. And I'm telling you, if he wins, oh, man, it's gonna be crazy. so awesome. It's gonna be so I, awesome. I hope Johnny sleeps well tonight. That's what I hope. I yeah. hope that he can put his head down knowing that it's it's gonna be okay. That when he wakes up in the morning, it's I'm I think they know. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they know, but uh yeah, I just hope he gets a good night's sleep tonight. That's what I hope Are for him. Are you waking up or very early, Les? Like, what time do you think you'll be up? <laughs> I got to be up and looking somewhat presentable by 4.30. So uh, I'm probably going to be up around quarter to four. Same. Yeah, I think quarter to four, if I sleep at all. Because usually when I get to that time, it's like, well, I might as well just stay up. But I might go have a nap now. We'll see. We'll see. I got to eat first. I haven't eaten today. So I'm going to go eat and see how I feel after that. All right, people, I, yeah. I got to really go because I got to get out of here. I got to go shopping and stuff like that. So yeah, anyway, we'll I just want to love you all. Much love to you all. Let's go, Johnny. See it. The, the CDJ's bye -bye. live stream. Be well. Be safe. And I'll see you on their live stream, too. Love you all. Be yes, well. Bye. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you guys for joining, buddy. Bye. Thank you for Thank coming you for on. having us. Thank you for having, coming on. Thank you. Love you all. See you soon. Love you. Bye. Bye. bye.